Hi, in this channel I teach the basic graph theory and algorithms. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing my channel and you are suggested to watch the previous videos on graph theory for better understanding. In this lecture, we will discuss about tripartite graphs. So in the previous lecture, we had discussed about bipartite graphs and we had shown that in that case, we basically divided the um, vertex set into two parts. So for tripartite graphs as the name suggests here we divide the vertex set into three parts so as the definition is given here that a graph g with the vertex set v and the a set e is called tripartite if and only if we can partition the vertex set v into three parts okay so for bipartite graphs we had two parts for but for uh, tripartite graphs we have we have three parts for the vertex set so that no two vertex from the same part are adjacent okay so basically our vertex set is here v and we divide that is we have some partition for this vertex set v uh, let's say v1 v2 and v3 so it is a partition of it is a partition of the vertex set v okay so it is a partition of v so a partition means basically that v1 and v2 and v3 these are pairwise disjoint okay so that means that v1 intersection v2 is empty also v2 intersection v3 is empty also uh, v, v3 intersection v1 is empty and also what we have that this v is equal to this v is equal to v1 union v2 and union v3 so then we call that this is a partition now we have that we will call this graph g to be a tripartite graph if the vertex set v of g of the graph g have this partition uh, such that to any two this v1 v2 and v3 are subsets of this vertex set v uh, and the intersections and the, they are pairwise disjoint that means these intersections are empty and their union is the whole set whole vertex set v okay then we will call this graph to g to be a bi um, tripartite graph if and only if no two vertex from the same part are adjacent okay so that that means that no two vertex from v1 are adjacent no two vertex from v2 are adjacent and also no two vertex of v3 are adjacent okay so now let's take some example and we will understand uh, the concept clearly through an example okay so let us consider this graph g1 to be say this graph so for this graph we can see actually that uh, the vertex set is here uh, let's denote this vertex by a this by b this is c d and e okay so here we can see that we can uh, partition the vertex set so we can partition the vertex set v into three parts okay so let's take this part and this one and also this one okay so basically this is our v1 v2 and this is v3 so now v1 is uh, with a and b and v2 is with c and d and v3 is with singleton a e okay so then we can see that here uh, firstly this v1 v2 and v3 is a partition for this vertex set v because their union is v and their intersection uh, that is pairwise intersection are empty okay v1 intersection v2 is empty v2 intersection v3 is empty and also v1 intersection v3 is empty so this is a partition first of all and then we can check that for v1 this a and v these are not adjacent for v2 the c and d are not adjacent and also for v3 there is no other vertex other than e so there is uh, this v3 is also like uh, no two vertex of v3 are adjacent okay so from here we can uh, conclude that this g1 is a tripartite graph a tripartite 
graph. Now we'll check with another example, an easy one, uh, say. So we can take this example, a triangle. Okay, so here we have these three vertices A, B and C. So we can clearly assert that here this A is adjacent to B, but we can take this here firstly V is uh, A, B and C and here we can take the partition V1 to be singleton A, V2 to be singleton B and V3 to be singleton C. And there is no options for each of the sets to be adjacent within the sets, right? right? Because there is only A, so uh, there and it is a simple graph, so there is no option to be adjacent A with A, right? So this this graph is a tripartite graph, okay? So, so now the concept is clear to us that for uh, bipartite graphs, uh, for bipartite graphs. We have two parts, okay, and for tripartite graphs, we have three parts with the condition that for any part, say, let's say V1 is a part, then no two vertex of V1 are adjacent, okay. So, when we have two parts, then no two vertex or no two vertices of the same part are adjacent. For this case, also for tripartite, also no two vertices from the same part are adjacent. So we can like this, we can construct more uh, partite like multipartite and this is called multipartite multi when we have uh, a partition for the vertex set with let's say n number of parts and no two vertices from the same part will be adjacent, okay. So we will now define multipartite graph. Okay, so now our definition for multipartite graph is given like this that any graph G is called a n-partite or multipartite graph if the vertex set of G which is denoted by V of G it can be partitioned into n parts so that no two vertex from the same part are adjacent. Okay, so if we have a graph G and its vertex set can be partitioned into n parts say v1 v2 and vn such that no this is a partition for, means firstly that vi intersection vj is empty uh, for one less than or equal to i and j less than or equal to n such that i not equal to j okay so uh, all of these parts are uh, disjoint first of all pairwise disjoint and their union is the whole vertex set v of g so v of g is equal to union i from 1 to n v i okay uh, so this is a partition of the vertex set of g so and also no two vertex from the same part are adjacent okay so no two vertices from v1 are adjacent no two vertices from v2 are adjacent and similarly no two vertices from vn will be adjacent then we'll call this g to be a n partite graph okay so now we'll check some example we'll uh, see some example so our first example is the easiest one so let us take firstly we have here n number of parties n number of parts for this vertex set okay so there must be at least n vertex otherwise we cannot have this n parts because all of these parts must be non-empty okay otherwise uh, otherwise there is no meaning to take a part right so all of these parts are non-empty so we must have at least n number of vertices in uh, this vertex set of g so we can first uh, we can have a remark say a remark is that we can write like that that uh, this mod of v of g that is the cardinality of the vertex it must be here uh, greater than or equal to n for n partite graph right so now we'll check some example so let's uh, take that uh, this cardinality of uh, g b n so we have this many uh, vertex right and uh, if we now uh, take say this graph okay so here actually our n is equal to 6 okay so here we have this graph 
so now we can check that is it a multipartite graph or in partite graph so yeah it is a multipartite graph and we can take firstly we have to denote all the vertices say a b c d e and f so we are taking now v1 to be um, this b okay this b and e say and v2 to be a and f and v3 to b what is left so c and v4 to b so a b c and now d is left right so d here so this is a partition this we can consider so now how this is a partition firstly we have to check that uh, all of these are disjoint pairwise disjoint right and all of these uh, are the if we take the union of this v1 to v4 then we will get the vertex set of g which is v of g that is from a uh, b to up to f okay so now uh, also we have to check that no two vertex from the same part are adjacent okay so firstly for v1 we have to check that whether b and e are adjacent or not so here b and e are not adjacent also for v2 this a and f are not adjacent for v3 this c is a singleton and for v4 this is also singleton set so here no two vertices from the same part are adjacent so this is a uh, this is a g3 graph and this g3 is is a multipartite graph is multipartite or we can say that it is a four four partite it is a four partite because here we have four parties four parts for the vertex set so four partite right so similarly we can have more pa partitions and these are these partition is not the unique one okay so we can have another one another partition for the vertex set and we can check that it can be also six partite graph or five partite graphs also so basically and we have a remark also here that we have a remark from this so if if g has n number of vertex that is if the cardinality of the vertex set of g be n right that is g has n vertices then g must be a n partite graph provided provided g is simple so actually all these graphs we are considering all of these are simple right because we are considering no loop no parallel edge and for uh, simple graphs only this partite concept is uh, relevant otherwise this concept is not relevant because if there is a loop then uh, the condition that there is no two vertices from the same part are adjacent this is not hold right so firstly for simple graphs only we have the concept of bipartite or multipartite graphs first of all so if we consider g to be any simple graph with n number of vertices then we can always we can always uh, conclude that this g is uh, this this g must be a n partite graph it can be more, less than n partite graph that is it it can be some m partite graph when this m is less than n but it is at least n partite okay so we can write like that so it can be m partite for some m less than n but at least it is n partite right so at least it is n partite so it is not always so uh, there there uh, it 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 is not necessary that always there will exist some m such that uh, m less than n such that it will be a m partite graph but it will always be a n partite graph and for this n partite graph actually we can uh, consider what we can consider uh, the partition of the vertex set uh, to be singleton sets right Th that is if the vertex set has n number of points then we can consider 
द एन व्हाट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू बी भी वन टू वी एन एंड देन वी कैन कंसीडर द वाटेक्स सेट्स टू बी सिंगल टर्न सेट्स विथ वी आई राइट सो वन वाट वन पार्टीशन विल बी वी वन इट सेल्फ वन पार्टीशन विल बी वी टू इट सेल्फ सो लाइक दिस वी कैन कंसीडर एन पार्टीज एन पार्ट्स ऑफ द भाट एक्स सेट राइट एंड देन विल वी कैन चेक दैट सिंस इट इज अ सिंपल ग्राफ देयर इज नो लूप सो देर देयर इज नो टू भाट एक्स फ्रॉम द सेम पार्ट हुई चार एट द सेंटर सो लाइक दिस एनी ग्राफ उथ एन भाट इज मस्ट बी अ एन भाट एन पार्टेड ग्राफ राइट सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और क्वेरी यू कैन कॉमेंट एंड लेट मी नो एंड आई विल डेफिनेटली एड्रेस द क्वेरी इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर and please like comment and share for more videos on graph theory from me thank you